years ago, I mean, we didn't even think we had a right to dream because nobody ever told us we had a right to dream. I just never thought that I'd be doing any of the things that I'm doing right now because I never saw anything for my life. You know, as a kid growing up, I just knew about all the struggles I had. And I never thought that I'd become involved in a movement like the self-advocates movement. I, I just would know these, if you want to know the truth. I seen this sign up on the wall, and it said, there's a meeting at such and such and such. And it said, if you want to know more, come to the meeting. It didn't really say. It was like a, a mystery of some kind. And it was actually a self-advocacy meeting. One of the first things they wanted to know when I got in there is, can you write? <laughs> they needed and wanted a secretary. And I was like, I don't know. Yeah, I can write, but I wasn't too eager, you know. And, and that was the beginning. I got involved with my local group, and we started doing a lot of interesting things and started talking about a lot of interesting stuff. And, from noon, I started going to the statewide meetings and uh, went to one national uh, conference. And by the time I went to that one national conference, I was really hooked. At one time, we were just meeting, and I realized that we needed some other kind of place where we could do other work and we could do like the important stuff that we needed to do. So I knew we needed a board of directors. Those are the kind of things we did, you know, besides going around and, and going around the state and training people on what self-advocacy was and the importance of it and just really getting the organization started. In the middle of doing it, it was a lot of fun, but it was a lot of hard work. Did I ever think that we'd go this far and that things would happen like they have now? <laughs> no, I didn't. And still today, there's a lot of work to be done because there's still people out there that don't really understand that they have a right to hope and dream, you know, and to do what it is they want to do with their lives. It's important that we all learn to respect each other and to have fun together and to also work hard together to help people grow and become the people that they want to become.